Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. The president uh, or chairman of all CEOs of Nigeria have come out to speak. One thing about this grand community, I just noticed that, oh boy, these people love tight too much. You will see one man who call himself pastor, evangelist, engineer, doctor, architect, you know, and they will find another comrade, ambassador, and put them on our call his name, you know. So, the president of OCU have come out to speak. I wonder the camp he is from because the way he's speaking, he's not speaking from 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 where we want to 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 like to be because he's saying that disbursement is imminent and the time for disbursement is near. That people should get their house in order, get their the CEOs should get their bundles checked. That disbursement is imminent. Ah. I, I have my feelings. I have a feeling I'm not I'm not in the wrong feeling that he's from Kent's camp. Uh, for him to be an active uh, head of uh, president of uh, CEOs, he should be in Kent's camp. So you can see this is Kent's talking. This is Ken speaking. So he has come to probably distract. I don't know. So let's just listen to him and see what he has to say. See you on the other end. Drop a comment in the description. Very good morning to you all, my wonderful CEOs in all the 36 states of Nigeria. I want to thank the Almighty God for keeping us all alive to see today. It is important I come your way because a leader doesn't sleep until what he's looking for is gotten or achieved or until you see success and you see your people happy making sure that every effort put in on ground is not in vain or wasted effort I thank all my state chairmen, I thank all the executives, I thank all members of CEO platform. I want to say this to all of you this morning, that all CEOs in Nigeria, we are in safe hands. Do not regard or put your mind in all these flying news, all these fake informations that are moving around. People are talking and they must talk because they have mouth. People are typing, sending all manner of messages. They are right because they have phone that where they were able to put data. So they will type and they will send anywhere they want to send it to. The one truth I want to let you know is sending, typing, voice note is not a problem. But what are your basis? What are your foundation in doing all you are doing? We don't make too much noise. We don't talk too much. But action will speak louder than voice. And that time is coming at its now. Every CEO in Nigeria, listen to me and put your house in proper order. Every CEO in Nigeria, listen to me. I say and put your house in proper order because this is time. The time is now. Do not join any group. Do not join any gang that will tell you let us do this or let us do that. There is no good thing that comes it easy. There is no success that you just wake up and uh, you get it. There is nothing that is good in this life that comes easy. There must be sweat. People must toil. People must struggle. Even at a point got tired. But those who remain steadfast. They are the people that smile and laugh at last. And that is where we have found ourselves. Be encouraged. And I am encouraging you. 
Be strong, for I am giving you that hope. Because Almighty God will never disappoint us under the leadership of our expectation all through our leadership and I want to tell you this that the leadership of uh, UAAG and the, our Ebo Ami Ebo and the indefatigable country director Professor Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama and his team are doing something they are working they are not sleeping they are making sure everything comes to landline they are making sure we rejoice they are making sure we are not being disappointed and indeed we will not be disappointed our hope is so high from this morning being monday the 12th day be the 13th day of may 2024 my dear leaders my able ceos we must be united we must be together because if we keep separating ourselves you allow enemy to come in and when enemy comes in every effort we have made will be thwarted i want to tell you this our recompense is before us and God has already brought it down to give each every one of us according to our works please do not panic again by the grace of God our time of waiting are over our time of peace are over and this is a time for us to now rejoice and be happy I want you wherever you are instead of talking instead of making noise instead of listening to different kinds of voice no that makes no meaning please go on your news we have invested we have spent our money and everything please go to god in prayer and tell god that let it be now and already it is now and let there be no more further obstacle or any further hindrance but those who are somewhere enemies of the masses enemies of the people planning this or planning that writing this or writing that i want to let you know that your time the effort you are putting on ground will be wasted and god by the prayers of the masses will bring you to book and that punishment you will not find it easy that punishment will not come out of it easily because it's going to be a severe punishment on you that you are suffering the masses because of envy because of jealousy because of hatred because of whatever you call it you are making the masses to suffer genuine masses genuine ceos who are putting in their best who are putting in their effort into making sure that they have something to hold on to they find means to their livelihood and to the look for greener pasture you want to rob them of their joy and happiness let me tell you you yourself will never see happiness or joy all your life because People have invested money, they have borrowed money, they have done this, they have done that. This is the time. Disease from dragging us backward. Because CEOs will never again succumb to our deceit. They will never again succumb to our cheating and the, our, our long grammars that never makes any single meaning. I know that those who are let me just put it, those who have something upstairs those who are genuine those who are sincere they don't make too much noise they don't talk too much they don't in any way come out when others are coming out because they view they observe they monitor before coming out to say anything and whatever they say is that way so i want to beg you all my ceos we may come everything is good and uh, whoever that it is that reversed back the radio interview we did over two or three months ago bringing it back whatever purpose you have in doing that it is your business we the ceos have spoken then over all fake grant handlers 
let me tell you bringing it back makes no meaning makes no difference and whatever meaning you're reading out of it <laughs> you 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 i don't think you're gonna achieve anything from that the ceos are standing strong we are not shaking we are not shaking we never shake we are putting our house in order we are arranging ourselves and they do not worry yourself we are coming and by the time we come you will understand that we are not just people who just come together for coming sake we came together be prepared and we came together with a solid foundation that by the time we knock at your door you either open it or you disappear these are the two things that are there so that trending uh, a, a radio interview is an old interview for over two three months ago so it's not a new one for those who are parading it in the name of whatever you are parading it for it is your concern it is your business we are men enough we are leaders enough we know what is good and what is right for us i don't want you to uh, understand me good understand we are going to we are not going to i know i am standing in for the masses and the uh, it is said in the Holy Scripture that where one uh, 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 wages are, is where his or her intentions will be, is where his or her mind will be. So where we have invested, our minds must be there. And we must make sure we protect, we guide, and we support every move to see that this is comes to our table. Fight all you can fight, do all you can do, but remember, remember, when God are for us, nobody can be against us. And by His grace, we are more than conquerors. We are victorious already. Multitude here, crowd that we have here, <laughs> we definitely will show up. And by the time we show up, every man will understand that this is what we are out for. From here, I want to appreciate all the men of God in the house who are praying who are calling God, who are the different authors, praying day in, day out. Your prayers will never be in vain. Keep it up. Keep it up. And don't join the evil fold, the evil gang and the evil group who are thwarting, destroying the effort we are putting on ground, the effort of the management to see that things works, the effort of even the government committee and the, the rest of them. I want to tell you this. Put your eyes on the ground. Put your eyes on the ground. Many will still talk. Many will still type. Many will still write. Please, it's not every typing and it's not every voice note you see you listening to or any, every uh, message sent you read. Learn how to abandon them. And from today, begin abandoning them. Unless it's coming from the right source which you can read or listen to. I tell you all this because we I'm at time right now, and as I this morning, we are on forward march. Please stand in, stand ready, and prepare your house. Don't let anyone distract you. Don't let anyone make you begin to do what you're not supposed to do. Put your house in proper order. And uh, I want to tell you, put everything in prayers. God has done it for us. All glory to his name. All praise to his holy name. And uh, any order man or woman that will rise from anywhere to think or plan anything against the joy of the masses this time around the fire that consumes the 400 prophets of baal we consume them to ashes we destroy them because there will be no peace for the wicked there will never be peace for the wicked if you don't want the joy of the masses you will never ever have joy in your life you will be crippled and you'll be sick and never to rise that's our prayers on behalf of all the ceos in nigeria the genuine ceos that are here from here i want to say god bless you all and the congratulations in advance i remain your humble leader Ambassador Dr. Pascal Anyaou. Bye for now until I come again. Put your house in proper order. Get ready. And from here, my dear people, put your house in proper order and do have a lovely day. Thank you all.
Remain blessed.